Hello there fellows and welcome to a redstone tutorial with Tigers RC. This time we'll be making a extremely efficient witch farm. I believe it to be the second most efficient in the world next to a design by Redstone Spire and it is definitely the most resource friendly efficient design. The most efficient design requires about seven times as much iron and the design by JL that most people consider to be the most efficient is extremely resource intensive and requires many trips to the nether to get enough nether quartz. This design does not require any nether quartz at all and it is also extremely efficient, producing as of 1.8 about 4,800 items an hour. In 1.7, it produced near 8,600 items an hour. However, with 1.8, they increased the number of loaded chunks permanently from about 60 or 70 to 256, which means that this design and every single other witch farm that exists suffered extreme efficiency loss, about 66% in some cases. The first thing you'll need to build your witch farm is a witch hut. After you find one, go ahead and do two things. First of all, you'll need to form a perimeter to prevent other hostile mobs from spawning anywhere besides in your witch hut. What this means is that your entire overworld in 128 blocks away from wherever you stand when you're AFK witch farming, 128 blocks circular around this point has to have absolutely no spawn spots. That means that every single cave within that radius has to be lit up and the entire top of the world either has to be lit up or covered in water or half slabbed or something like that so that no other mobs can spawn. You can see I did it here by using glass which mobs cannot spawn on and deleting everything else. You'll also need to remember to stand at least 24 blocks away from your witch hut or else you will impair the spawning. That's what this yellow ring is. The next thing you'll need to do is go ahead and make a roof for your witch farm. From the corner of the witch hut, which is um, a 7x9 area, including the porch, so this, this is one corner, this would be another corner, this is one corner, and this is one corner of your witch hut. From each of these corners and one block above your witch hut, go ahead and go 15 blocks out in each direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 blocks out from each of the corners, connect them diagonally like this and straight across like this so that you'll have a diamond shape with the corners, the tips kind of cut off, and then fill that entire area up with half slabs. You will not need these blocks in the um, on the longer sides of the witch hut that are one away from the edge of it. We'll eventually be using that gap. And for now, I'd recommend keeping the top open so that sunlight can, sunlight can still get in and you won't have any witches spawning while you're building this farm. The next thing you'll need to do is actually make the spawn platform. In order to do this, you'll need your half slabs or redstone blocks, whichever you prefer, and you'll want to put them upside down underneath each and every corner. I'll be using half slabs because it's likely what you'll use in your survival world, seeing as they're a little bit cheaper. After you've got them underneath each corner, 
then you are going to place them also right there in each corner so that they're one underneath this bottom um, the floor of the witch hut one underneath that then after you've placed those in each corner like this go ahead and delete the witch hut and fill in those two spawn platforms the next thing that you're going to want to do is place your actual piston pushers so on the top come along and on the shorter side and place fences like this then every other block place a glass block so that on one side you've got four and on the other side they are opposite so wherever you have a glass block you don't on this side and wherever you don't have a glass block on that side you do on this side so that you've got three then do the same thing on the bottom but on the longer side go ahead and place fences all along the longer side and glass blocks staggered like this these glass blocks could instead be half slabs if you prefer I'll use glass blocks just to distinguish them from the blocks that are not being pushed if they are half slabs they should be not upside down but right side up after you've placed all of these glass blocks on the bottom go ahead and bring them out two more on the bottom but not on the top then take your pistons and place them in these gaps between the glass blocks right up against the fences like this do the same thing on the top so that you'll end up with pistons able to push either side like this now then from each of your glass blocks go ahead and place a piston one block out facing into those so that you've got an air gap and a piston right there like this do this for all of your glass blocks now that you've got all of your stick your piston pushers in place so that you have something that looks like this you're going to start to make the clock mechanism there is a separate one for the top and for the bottom they're both very similar but I'll go through them both with you so for the bottom on the side that has glass so wherever there's a three wide glass this is the way that you're going to do it you're going to want to start with a block that's directly underneath your piston like this and place a half slab right there that's just to prevent spiders from spawning in the system then place a repeater and another repeater and then a redstone dust with a block up sticky piston place a redstone block directly against this piston and then above this sticky piston come over like this with a redstone torch right there dust bring it out four so you've got one two three four dust dust repeater put half slabs above all of this and a half slab right against these two blocks like this if you prefer you can do it against that repeater then a tripwire hook right there and string all the way across to the tripwire hook that's on the opposite side we'll worry about that one in just a sec now then on the side that has a piston right next to this fence post go ahead and place a block underneath it and a block diagonal to that right there then bring it out seven more so one two three four five six seven place a redstone block there 
and then another one. So you should have a 10 long thing right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. And from the end, bring this one up to do something like this and get a sticky piston upside down and an upside down half slap like that. Redstone dust all along there. Redstone dust here. A block repeater and another block followed by dust all along here. Then you'll want to place half slabs on top of all of this and a block right there with a torch on the side, a half slab on top, and your tripwire hook right there with string going all the way across. Be careful when you're building, do not fall in, that would not end too well. But this is the design basically done. When you connect these two, you should see that it pulses the system about like this. That's exactly what you want it to do. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take every single one of those one wide slices and repeat it wherever there's a piston that corresponds to it. So wherever there's a piston that's with the three glass, you're going to make a short slice like the one that I did first. And wherever there's a piston that is right next to the spawn platform, you're going to make a nice longer slice like the one right over here. You should end up with a nice fair bit of machinery that looks about like this. You can then take either glowstone or a another block output like a sea lantern or a jack-o-lantern and place them right between these clock mechanisms back here so that you'll have a light source back there and nothing will spawn on those. The next thing you're going to have to do is make the upper level spawn platform. Wherever you've got a piece of glass with a piston right here, you are going to do basically the same thing as you did down below. The only difference is that it's a little bit closer. So like this, and a sticky piston right there. You'll also have to punch a hole in your ceiling in order to make this work. This is why your ceiling is made out of right side up half slabs, because it makes this very simple and easy to do. It should basically end up looking exactly like the other one you have. Remember that on your ceiling you're gonna have to put half slabs or something above it, either half slabs or you could have a light source, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that nothing will be able to spawn up there. But this is what it looks like. Opposite those, wherever you've got a piston directly next to your fence, go ahead and do basically the same thing as that. This time, instead of bringing it out so that there's a total of eight blocks, you're going to bring it out so there's a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Redstone block, one more, bringing it up like this with an upside down piston, a redstone, or a loop like this with an upside down half slab, redstone dust, block, block, two redstone dust instead of the four that is down there, and a repeater right there. Then fill this part up with half slabs, like this, and go ahead and right there, 
Yep, there. Place your redstone torch and your tripwire hook. Tripwire hook. The tripwire should go all the way across and meet up with the other side. And it should pulse like this. Then the last thing that you're going to need to do for both sides with this is come one back and place a piece of glowstone or a jack-o'-lantern or something. Alternatively, you could put torches right there against this block. However, this is a witch farm and you are going to have a lot of glowstone when it's done. So I'll be using glowstone for this tutorial. You can go ahead and do the same thing as you did down below, placing these slices wherever they need to go, and you'll end up with a pretty big piece of machinery. You should end up with something that looks about like this, and if you stand on it, you'll fall through. If you stand on it in the right place, when you stand on this, try not to stand on the middle of a block, but rather in the corners. Even then you might fall through. But, um, yeah. Basically, this is your farm complete. What you can do now is make an automatic collection system and an on-off switch. The simplest way to make an on-off switch is to make sure that these along this side and along the other side are redstone blocks. Then, using these nice slits that we've got in our ceiling, go ahead and fill in these slits with a block of your choice, making it solid, and redstone torches all along the back side of it. Do this for both sides so that you'll end up with a nice strip of redstone torches on both sides of your build. Um, it is dealing with sunlight and it goes all the way down, so the light updates are causing a little bit of lag. But you'll end up with something that looks like this. Then take sticky pistons and put them right there so that they are extended and place them all along this entire side. That way you'll have this do the same thing for the other side. So that you've got sticky pistons all along here and then with these take redstone lamps, which are made from the witch drops, and place them all along here. This will light up your entire farm and prevent anything from spawning in it, which is rather nice. This allows you to turn on and off your witch farm. Then all you need to do is wire it up, place some redstone on both of these, then I'd recommend having blocks all along one end, about like this, a torch, a torch, and dust all along here. Make sure that all this redstone dust is lit up, and you can wire from this, you can wire it wherever you like, and have a lever to pull to turn it on and off, so it's off now and it's on. If you want to reduce lag, make sure that they don't activate right at the same time, but rather a tick or two behind each other. That way, it'll reduce the lag a little bit. Taking half slabs, you can fill in this gap that prevented your witches from spawning while you were working on it. Alrighty, the last thing you have to do is encase your witch farm in a nice little ring set like this. Make sure that you do not place any blocks on the same height level as the spawn platform. So no blocks right there. 
and no blocks right there but you can just encase it a little bit cover up the corners make sure that if there's any witches that are gonna jump in right around here they aren't able to strafe all the way over this way and then after that you are going to need to dig this hole this entire area it should be 11 by 9 straight down 28 air blocks so one two three four etc 28 air blocks and then the block that's right after that so the 29th block between the um, spawn platform and the bottom the 29th block will kill witches that fall on it so 29 blocks down and that should be deep enough to kill all the witches I'm going to leave um, the item collection system up to you I'll probably post a tutorial on one of those a little bit later um, but the item collection system is up to you you can either do a simple rather iron intensive one where you just place a hopper with half slabs so the witches fall into half slabs and die and then there's a hopper chain that leads into your item sorter or you could do something with solid blocks and um, hopper minecarts I leave it up to you but whatever you do just remember that it's not going to produce too many items for a single hopper to handle so you're good right there congratulations this is your witch farm completely and totally done witches will now spawn in if it's off or if the lights are off and they'll fall down to their death so congratulations you now have a witch farm that will produce a ton of those wonderful witch drops there you go fellows now you have a completed witch farm if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post it down in the comment section I'll be sure to take a look as soon as I can I'll probably be posting a tutorial on how to make a item collection system relatively soon so when I do I'll put that down in the description uh, I do believe that's everything I've got for you thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and found this useful and until next time fellows so long keep on farming those witches